Okay. So the other day we had um, a couple of students um, which came to our physics workshop, right? And this workshop was um, focusing on section D of the syllabus, right? So we went through some uh, concepts such as uh, electrostatics, electricity, and our logic gates with them, right? And one of the things that um, really interest the students was uh, the whole phenomenon of electrostatics. So to bring across on the concept of electrostatics uh, in our workshop, we did a, a quite a simple experiment uh, to detect the presence of charge, right? So what we did, uh, we constructed um, an electroscope, which is uh, an implement used to uh, detect the presence of charge, right? So in this video, what I'll be doing is actually going through how we made this electroscope and uh, how it can use to how it can be used to detect uh, charge, right? So these are the items that we'll be using: some foil paper, piece of cloth with a silky surface, uh, a copper wire, and a, a old coffee jar, a pen, right? And uh, yeah, so let's um, go through the process of actually uh, making the electro electroscope, right? So the first thing I did was uh, to get some get the copper wire and uh, coil it to increase the surface area, right? Then once I did that, I took, uh, this is the ink tube from outside this pen here. I took the ink tube and I uh, cut it to, cut it on a certain length and then uh, bore the jar, the lid of the coffee jar, right? And then I pushed the ink tube inside there and then uh, I fished the, I pushed the, the, copper wire through it, right? Then I made a, a little bend there and then I cut some foil paper um, to form this shape. Now you can um, cut it to any shape um, you desire, right? And place a hole at the top and then I put that onto the, to the copper wire, right? So how this electroscope work is, um, we'll actually see how it, how it works in this video, right? So then once you've um, assembled this um, just like this, you can go ahead and um, put the lid on and it should look like this, right? So now in terms of testing it now, what you do is uh, rub this somewhat vigorously until you feel a little heat being generated because we're actually charging it by friction, right? Then you bring it close to the thing here and we get a response on in the foil paper. So if I move that away, Come again, right? And that's due to the presence of charge. Right. Okay, so after seeing this video just now, you're probably wondering to yourself, what did you just see and how does it work? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll go through a really quick explanation of uh, what just happened. Okay, so as we said earlier, a electroscope is a device used to detect the presence of charge. Now, one key thing that uh, we must understand is that when similar charges or like like charges come into close proximity to each other, they exert a repulsive force on each other, and that repulsive force causes them to move apart from each other, right? So in this case, what happened was that when the charged pin was brought close to the copper wire on the outside, the coiled copper wire on the outside, it caused a redistribution of charges, right? Uh, specifically, the negative charges, right? Now, those negative charges actually flowed down the length of the copper wire down to the strips of aluminum foil. Now, since these these charges are negative, and they both distribute on the aluminum foil or the aluminum strip strip, it causes both aluminum strip to be negatively charged, right? Since they're negatively charged, they both repel, as was seen by the strips of foil moving apart. Now, we do have a more uh, detailed explanation. Of the principle behind this uh, this experiment or this phenomenon which we've just saw ju just seen now you can actually access that information by visiting the website which is posted down below 